Hey guys, I thought I'd just do a quick video on FMMS, which is a MMS client just made for the N900. It's in the extras uh, development library, but for now, let's just load up the application so it's just there. First thing, I'm using my phone on O2. What you will need to do is actually set up the internet connection. I'm not sure if it's the same with the other networks, but with O2's one, there's two types of connections. There's the mobile web and the WAP. It's the WAP settings that we need. So I had to change that over on the device. I'll show you what I did on my one because unfortunately you're not able to add a new profile. So what I ended up doing is um, what you can do is if you just go into settings uh, internet connections uh, connections and we've got um, I've already changed mine so this would normally say for O2 it's O2 mobile web um, just go on to edit on there change the name to that one so you know you've changed it the details you need for this is uh, wap.o2.co.uk obviously if you're using the O2 one make sure you put the letter O I've seen a lot of people put their number O on there and wonder why it's not working uh, username you'll have to change to O2 WAP as you can see there password you leave it as it is, it's, it is just password uh, just in case you do accent change or anything like that if we just um, leave the checkboxes here so it should be unchecked on there and then just click next Okay, here is where you'd have to actually change some advanced details so just click on the advanced tab at the bottom there and then what you want to do is um, by default that won't be be selected so you want to select the use proxy enter the details um, I'll post this on below this video um, but for O2 it's uh, 193.111.200.195 and you need to just put the port which is 8080 uh, once that's done just um, tap save and then it's finished and that's all sorted out there come out of that now and then just hit save to make sure it's all saved properly once we've done that you can come out of that I'll just go back into FMMS what you'll just need to do is to tap on the top hit configuration I'm just going to hide my mobile number don't want everyone to know that so here you've got the O2 WAP uh, which is what I've selected. The MMSC which um, has all the details in there just to make sure you enter that incorrectly. Uh, I've set the width on mine just left as zero. Um, you, by default you should normally have it about 300 but by setting it as zero um, it doesn't resize the image um, which seems to still work. Obviously it may take a little bit longer for the image to come through um, or to send sorry. Um, and then at the bottom here you've got the phone number so just enter it um, including the uh, country code so like plus four four seven whatever it is um, and then once you've done just hit save once that's done you can go on to the top and new MMS so obviously just enter the number as you would at the top again like I said enter it with the um, uh, um, the country code so plus four four seven seven zero nine I'll fill the rest out in a moment um, at the bottom obviously you can type a message that you want to send um, and then add the attachment so I'm just going to go into here and then I'm just going to do one of the default ones so if I just go to images just do one of the backgrounds uh, I think that one will do now I did just cut out for a second, I just wanted to block my number, obviously I don't want to share that with everyone. Once you've got the image, what you do have to remember is to make sure you're on the 3G um, connection. So just tap at the top bit um, onto connections and just change it to uh, the correct one there. You'll notice obviously it'll take a couple of seconds to change over. And once that's steadied, it's all set up and simple as hitting send after that you'll see the little thing twirling around there so you know it's um, trying to send it and what you'll get you'll get this big thing come up I thought first when I saw it that it was an actual error but uh, if you actually read what it says it does actually mean that it sent it um, I'll just pull over my other phone um, and just wait for that to come through should be over in a moment as you heard that's um, come through so I'm just going to put that there and if I just do show message so yep that's all come through there 
and obviously as you can see all the image and everything comes through as you'd expect it and if I just double tap on that that should load up and everything's there as you'd, as you'd expect it uh, which is great now I'll just try sending one back to the, um, the N900 from this device so let me just come back out of this I don't want to save no uh, I've just got one in drafts that I started to compose earlier I'm just going to pull that up and as you can see it's got all the image and everything as you'd expect so I'm just going to send this stack to the N900 now so that's sent and give that a few moments I think I can get rid of this or just come back out of that and shortly we should all goes well yep there we go you've seen it coming up on the top there and what will happen is if you tap on it it'll actually bring it up in here so to view the message you can just tap on that and hopefully that should all come through okay See in a moment. But, um, oops. Just come back out of that. Just tap it again. There we go. That's a bit better. So it's loaded up. It's still got the text that came in the MMS, and it's got the picture there, obviously. And if you just hold down the image for a second, you can open it up. You'll go into the photo browser, so you can double tap it um, as usual. Uh, zoom in as you would oh, sorry single tap and then obviously you can pan around like you normally would on there and that all seems to work fine and uh, when you do come out it does actually go into the main gallery so you do have to press come out of it a few times but as you can see it did load up their message and everything okay and it's still in this list here um, if you go into your main text you won't see it in there so it was up, won't actually show up but do just wait about 10 seconds after you get the message because um, it does take a little while just to get everything across but as you can see that's all working just be careful of obviously installing anything that's in the development section as it may not work as um, it should do and as the name suggests it's all still being developed um, hopefully Nokia bring it out as a prop thing within their main OS but for now this is a golden alternative and it does seem to work fine. Thank you. Till next time.